Hello folks, Prasad Domla here and in this video I'll show you how to install and configure RAW Let's Encrypt SSL certificates on our RAW web servers. So let's get started. Let's Encrypt is a free uh, automated and open source certificate uh, authority and it supports uh, most of the common uh, web servers and uh, operating systems. For this demo I'll be using Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, Nginx as my uh, web server and you can apply the same process for uh, Apache as well and I have my web server hosted on uh, AWS. Here I am logged into my uh, Ubuntu server and I have uh, Nginx already installed on my uh, server and I can check the status using uh, service Nginx status. So it's active and running. So if I access my uh, website using my domain name which is prasaddomala.me I can see the default Nginx uh, homepage. But uh, this is not served over uh, SSL. As you can see, it's plain uh, HTTP. So we'll now install uh, Let's Encrypt a certificate on this web server and try to access our website over uh, SSL. Let's Encrypt by default uses uh, .well-known slash Acme challenge to verify the domain name. But all folders starting with uh, dot will be denied by Nginx for security reasons by default. So we need to explicitly allow access to uh, .wellknown slash Acme challenge in our Nginx uh, configuration to be able to verify our uh, domain name. So let me go to the Nginx configuration file, which is uh, etc Nginx sites available and then default. So in this file, let's add a location so here we are allowing slash dot well known slash acme challenge and then we are saying allow all. So this is required to uh, verify our domain as let's encrypt will be using this particular URL to uh, verify our uh, domain. So let's save this file and let's uh, reload our Nginx. Now we can install our let's encrypt uh, certificates. So in previous versions of uh, Let's Encrypt, there was uh, an OS package called Let's Encrypt, but all the latest versions are managed by uh, CertBot. So we'll be using CertBot to install the latest version of uh, Let's Encrypt certificate. So make sure you have Git installed. If not, install uh, Git using apt or yum. So on my system, it's already uh, installed. So let me navigate to uh, opt and I'll clone the CertBot repository in this particular uh, directory. So I'll say git clone and then the URL of uh, CertBot repository which is https github.com slash CertBot and then slash CertBot. So we now have a CertBot repository on our uh, server. So let me go into a CertBot directory. So here you'll have all the files related to Let's Encrypt and uh, CertBot. For this demo, I'll be using webroot uh, method to install the certificates, which means I'll be uh, providing my webroot while configuring the certificates. And Let's Encrypt will verify our uh, domain by placing a you know temporary file in our webroot and accessing it through our uh, domain name. So if it can reach that file, it means that you own the domain and CertBot will create necessary certificates for that particular uh, domain. So to create these certificates, we'll use CertBot auto command which comes with the repository. So this is the command we'll be using to create the certificate. The cert only option is just to create the certificate. We'll be configuring Nginx manually using these uh, certificate files. And then hyphen webroot is the verification method. And uh, we need to provide our web root uh, using hyphen W option. And then hyphen D is our domain name. So which in my case is uh, prasaddomala.me. And then I'm providing hyphen non-interactive and hyphen agree to uh, terms of service. Th these two options are uh, optional. And then finally, I'll be uh, providing my uh, email address. And this is used to uh, send um, you know renewal uh, notifications. So let's execute this command. So by default, the CertBot auto command will install all the prerequisites and packages required for uh, Let's Encrypt certificates. And once that is done, 
it will verify your domain and then uh, create the certificate files. Okay, as you can see, the certificate creation process is uh, complete. So it waited for the verification and uh, the verification is successful and then uh, the certificates are uh, created. So by default, all the certificates are stored under slash etc, let's encrypt and then live and then your domain name, which is prasaddomla.me in my case. So let's navigate to that domain. Here you can see all the certificate files and the private key file. We'll be using fullchain.pm, which contains all the root certificates and the intermediary uh, authorities. And uh, we'll be using private key as our uh, private key file in our Nginx uh, configuration. So let's go to our Nginx configuration file, which is uh, etc nginx sites available default so here first we'll add a new uh, listener in our configuration for our https traffic so i'll just remove this line and then add uh, listen port 443 and this would be ssl so it will be uh, ssl and then default server Next, we need to add our SSL uh, configuration. So we'll be adding two lines here, SSL underscore certificate pointing to our uh, full chain .pm file and then SSL underscore certificate underscore key, which will be pointing to our uh, private key file. So let's save this file and uh, reload our Nginx. Now if we access our uh, website using uh, HTTPS, you should get the same page, but here you can see our uh, green lock icon, which means it's secure and encrypted. So if you click on that icon, you can see uh, our certificate is valid and you can view the details of our uh, certificate. So this is the certificate and it is uh, valid until uh, August 5th and it is uh, issued to prasaddomala.me. So by default, the certificate is valid for 90 days. So we can easily renew it using uh, renew command. So if you go back to our uh, certbot uh, directory, and uh, here we can execute uh, dot certbot um, auto, and then renew command. And we need to provide our uh, web root. And then hyphen w slash war dub 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 html so by default the certificate will be renewed only if it is within 30 days of uh, expiry we have just created our certificate so we'll get a message saying certificate not yet due for uh, renewal we can now uh, forcefully renew the certificate using the hyphen force renew command or flag So this will basically create new certificates irrespective of the renewal date. So as you can see, all renewals are uh, succeeded and the following certs have been uh, renewed. So you can create a script with the renewal command and add to your uh, cron to periodically renew your uh, certificates. And once that is uh, set up, you don't need to worry about your uh, you know certificates uh, expiring. So that's how you can uh, install free SSL certificates on your uh, web server using Let's Encrypt and CertBot. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos on AWS. Have a good day and see you in the next one.